We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 23, and today verses 27 to 31. Let's continue. And a great multitude of the people followed him, and women who also mourned and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming in which they will say, Blessed are the barren wombs that, that never bore, and breasts which never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in the green wood, what will be done in the dry? So Jesus has been sentenced to death, although they found him innocent. Figure that out. Now he's uh, being taken toward Calvary. And along the way, there are women who are, he meets this group who are mourning for him, this terrible thing that's happening to him. And he says, don't, don't, you know, think about your own situation. Are you really right? Don't weep for me. Weep for yourselves and your children. You know, it won't be that many years until Jerusalem is surrounded by armies and the temple will be destroyed, never more to stand in fullness. And so Jesus says, yeah, weep for yourself and your children. Put your hearts right. Do all that you can to have your heart be right. Have you and I done everything that we can for our hearts to be right? Jesus said if they do these things in a green wood, what about in a dry wood? What about in dead wood? Apparently there's still some spiritual life there. Of course there was because as we read the Gospels, we see that Jesus... Jesus did, had a lot of people who were very much moved by his ministry, moved into the God's kingdom by his ministry. I think sometimes we don't understand when the wood is dry and when the wood is wet. We don't understand when there's spiritual life and when there isn't. We look around ourselves today and we say, don't see a lot of spiritual life out there. But then there were other cases where Jesus uh, said, look, the, the, you, don't, you think it's so many months till harvest, but look, right now the harvest is ready. And one time he said to Paul, you know, there's many people I have in this city. And Paul didn't, Paul's going like, where is everybody? Where are all the evangelistic prospects? But they were there. And so we can't see as God sees, but what we want to do is be faithful all the way to the end. And God will use us and give us opportunities to serve him. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Jesus reminds these people, he turns it back on them, oh, that they... Uh, would weep for themselves and their children, oh, that they would find true repentance. And so help us, Lord, always to go back again and always to find true repentance as we follow Jesus. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. All around us, dry wood or life, spiritual probabilities and possibilities, a lot more than you and I see or think.